Okay, so let's figure out this. So we've got all this information. We put it all together, right? If we um, got 0.832 moles of water, how would we figure out how many moles of magnesium sulfate pentahydrate that did we start with? Right, we would have to do this conversion factor. Right, so we have this many moles of water, and we know from the chemical equation, you guys recall, that one mole of magnesium sulfate pentahydrate equals five moles of water. So should we be able to, with this information, get how many moles of magnesium sulfate pentahydrate we started out with? So how would we do that? Help me out. So, yeah, so we're going to have to multiply by something, right? Because this is chemistry class. We've got a unit convert. And so what are we going to put on the top here? One, well, the whole thing. What do we have to put? One, everybody, please. One mole magnesium sulfate pentahydrate. If you don't know how to say that yet, it's something that you need to know how to say. And on the bottom, five moles of water. Why would you put that on the bottom? Because you want to cancel out moles of water. Okay. Does that cancel out moles of water? Does that give us what we want? Does that give us what we want? So, all we got to do is plug and chuck it. Well, we've already plugged, so let's chuck. So, divided by 5. And I just did it from what I had saved over from last time. So, 0.16. 6. Six. figure out how many moles of magnesium sulfate, the dried magnesium sulfate we produced? Could we do that? Yes. How would we do that? What would be the conversion factor? How about let's write the conversion factor here instead of doing that problem. Let's just write the conversion factor here. So we started out with moles of water, so that would be in here, right? So what would five moles of water equal to? One mole of magnesium sulfate, right? Because it's a one to one to five. Right? So, right? right? Any questions on something like that? Questions? 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 Okay, cool.